simple exercises to loosen up your lower back in sitting. So we're going to start with the neutral spine, just to get in the neutral spine, as you can see, this position. So everybody has a bit of a different curve. So you're going to find your neutral spine with this exercise. So placing your heels under your knees, sitting more towards the front of the chair, pushing the heels in the ground, and you feel how all those muscles get activated. You may even want to activate your pelvic floor, throw your tummy in, then push your hands onto your legs, bring your shoulder blades back down, so make sure that you wake yourself wide here, so not uh, shoulders up, shoulders back and down, and imagine you have something pulling your neck long. And then with all those muscles active, you want to keep on breathing for about 10 seconds, and then you relax. And most of the time, people just think together like I'm doing now. So next time, we're going to build up this exactly the same thing, but this time, we want to gradually relax the muscles while we keep that ideal posture. So again, pushing down onto your knees, activating your leg muscles, pelvic floor, tummy in, Hands down, shoulder blades back, neck long. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now slowly start to let go of those muscles, but keep that neutral spine. So that's your neutral spine. Now in that position, we want to start with some small little movements. So your pelvis moving a tick back and forward. So, like always, we never want to go into pain. We rather want to find the most effortless, easy way to do that movement. So really just, when you look at that spine again, you're sitting on those buttocks. If you have a hard chair like that, that's easy to feel. And then your pelvis rolls back and forward like that. So rolling back. That usually has a good impact on loosening up your lower back. And if you feel stiff at the beginning, you make it really, really small. And then over time, you're going to be able to do more range. Now, and next to the exercise that involves the whole spine, starting in the same neutral position, placing your hands on your chest bone, keep your shoulders down. Again, just think about that pulling you long up there. Fixing your eyes straight forward and then just rotate like that. That's actually rotating the whole spine. Because you have your head still, I actually use that for people with neck problems, middle back problems and, and everywhere in the back problems. So you're activating all those deep little muscles along the spine when you're doing that. Similar to walking. So walking is really good as well. So especially brisk walking when you're swinging your arms, you get the same rotation happening. That helps your spine. Now, in addition to that, if you do have one of those air cushions and you have that on, on your chair, I'm going to show from the side first. So you're sitting on the middle of that air cushion, so that's going to make it much easier to do that movement. And the other thing that you can do here, you can do that side wrist movement. So showing from the front. Of course, you can do that on, on the chair as well without the cushion, but that's quite quite tricky. Actually, you can try to do that, but it's a bit harder. As if you do it on the air cushion, then you can really feel how easy and effortless this goes. And if you have a job where you have to sit much, those air cushions are really great. So you can get those air cushions on your chair and just. You know, it doesn't really matter on, on what you're doing. You can roll around to the side, you can come forward and back. The thing is you want to keep active, you want to keep moving. As long as you keep moving, you get your, you keep all your cartilage and your discs lubricated and you retrain those little muscles that hold your facet joints in the right position. Okay, so keep on moving, don't sit too long, walk and keep on moving. Thank you very much, thank you.